Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a quick Hello World SOAP web service using Visual Studio. Um, let's get right into it. Okay, so load Visual Studio. This is Visual Studio 2019. Click on create new project. Now we want to create a web application. So type web application. Go ahead and go ahead and click on the .NET framework. So ASP.NET web application using the .NET framework. Click next. I'm going to leave everything as default for this demo. Make sure that you're using the latest uh, .NET framework. Click create. Okay. Let's go ahead and okay. Let me select an empty web application. Let's give that a go. I mean, um, it's been a while since I created a SOAP web service. Uh, typically nowadays, people don't tend to use SOAP as much as they used to. Nowadays, you're more likely to be creating a RESTful web API type of uh, application. But these are still used. I certainly come across them an awful lot. Um, certainly with legacy systems, you'll notice there's lots of SOAP APIs, well, web services around. So it, it's good to know either way. It's good, it's good to know these things just in case you happen to come across them. Okay, so let's right click the application. I want you to click add and we're going to go ahead and ah, look at that. It's actually on the list. So we can click on it here. And if it, if it wasn't there, if it's not on your list, click on new item and do a search for web service. Click on it and click add. You can give it a name if you want. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to leave it as default. So click add. I mean, the great thing about web services, to be honest with you, is that they are so easy, so incredibly easy to use. So as you can see, in this instance, Microsoft have been kind enough to provide us with a hello world method already, a web method. So Bearing that in mind, let's just dissect what's going on here. So it's been tagged as a web method. This is called an attribute. So if I was to remove that, it wouldn't be available for others to call online using SOAP. It's public. Again, if I was to make it private or protected, it wouldn't be available for others to call. Here's the return type. So we're going to be returning a string the name of the method is hello world and here's what we're returning I'm gonna go ahead actually and just just make that a little bit bigger so you can see it because uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to see certainly if you're using a uh, mobile device so how about that hopefully you can see that so as I say we've got an attribute here indicating that it's a method a web method it's public so people can see it outside of this class it's returning a string a data type of string it's called hello world and here's the return statement so for example it's returning a string but if we were to create a string let's call it I don't know my string and we could set that literally equal to hello world and then we could return the string so my string even and that will work in exactly the same way anyway so I'm gonna build it ah did anyone sp spot the error there was a s missing semicolon okay so let's control shift B let's build the application the application is built let's go ahead and right click on web service one.asmx and we're gonna click on view in a browser now the, the other great thing about web uh, soap web services uh, certainly when you're creating them using Visual Studio is it gives you this really fantastic tool to actually test your your methods so here's the method 
Um, so you can literally click on it and here you've got a button so you can click on invoke and as you can see the data type is returned it's a string and and it's wrapped around here these this XML so with this soap web service everything that's returned is serialized as XML and XML was pretty pretty big and pretty commonplace uh, maybe 10 years ago it's still used heavily but now people tend to favor JSON and we, we can look at we can look at that in another video for sure um, so yeah uh, the great thing about these these tools as well is they actually allow you these like tester tools if you like they uh, they actually give you uh, the soap that you would send and, and, and the data types that come back so um, they're really really useful I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna modify this very slightly just to show you what it looks like if you're inserting parameters. So for example, if we say we want to insert an input parameter of, of say for example a string, and we're gonna just call it my string because I'm lacking inspiration in variable names. And what we'll do is we'll literally get rid of this line here. We're gonna build it, alt tab back, refresh the page. And as you can see now we've got the variable, the, the, uh, the input parameter, sorry. So in here, for example, you could insert whatever you want. Let's click on test and then invoke, and it comes back with test. Well, of course, this is actually a hello world demo. So let's insert hello world, exclamation mark. It's got to have the exclamation mark, otherwise it's not a proper hello world tutorial. Click on invoke, and there we have it, hello world. So that about wraps it up for this, this video. We're going to take a look at some other technologies in another video perhaps we'll look at web api for example that's that's a restful um, web service and it's used a lot more these days than soap is um, so we can go into that and we can have a look at how we would go about creating one of those so if you enjoyed the video if you found it useful please go ahead and click the like button if you want to see uh, similar content to this in the future go ahead and subscribe or consider subscribing should i say what's the worst that could happen and if you've got any suggestions for future videos any any questions on this video or comments go ahead and throw them in the comment section below and until next time take care